So we're going to give you a, a quick overview or my overview on my use or introduction to the X-Boat and the TF640 Echo Sounder from Tosten. Now I got put onto the X-Boat probably about 12 months ago. I was, I was searching around for a very easy to use boat with reliability, with good build quality, but one that was very, very simple to use. And I wanted specifically a really detailed Echo Sounder. Um, the Echo Sounders that I'd used in the past were very inconsistent. They weren't that detailed. And I found that that's what I really wanted from the boat. So obviously I got in touch with Dimitar or Dimitar got in touch with me and we went from there. Now I've had the boat for probably about 12 months now and I've used it quite a lot obviously overseas, used it once in the UK. Um, so straight away, I think I'm not gonna blind you with technical details. I'm gonna talk about some of the features, certainly the autopilot and what I like about the boat and the handset, but I wanna just put it over in my terms because I'm not a technical sort of guy and I didn't want something that was, you know, you needed a, a science degree to work, if you like, and I think most of us are the same. So let's start with the boat initially. Now, I think you'll all agree that the boat certainly has a presence and I often say to Dimitar that it's almost arrogant, the boat is. Now, can a bait boat be arrogant? Well, I think it can. I think it's got that presence about it. I think the way it sits, the way it looks, even down to the fact that the, the side lights on it, or the running lights, uh, are LED lights. It, it's just got something about it that draws you to it, I think. I think it is an absolute, I think it looks fantastic. It performs in the water so well. It's propelled, it's propelled, kind of propelled, if you like. Um, so there's no pulling to one side. Certainly going into that, on the handset that I've got, I've got the upgraded Futuba handset and it's all digital on the trimming. So if you do need to adjust the trimming of the boat, it's all digital. So you've got a center zero point uh, and there's a minus and a plus. So if, if, the, if it is out slightly, sorry, I am actually fishing. <laughs> if it is out slightly, it's a simple case of just knocking it down to zero and everything is parallel and the boat flies straight and true. Uh, now, what do I like about the boat? The boat is very light. Now I've had, uh, I've got the lithium batteries. I've got two sets of lithium batteries uh, and not once in all the time I've used the boat have I needed to swap the batteries. So for example, I was on a session in France in June this year and I was fishing about 110 meters with all three rods in heavy weed. And I didn't have to change the batteries once. I didn't have to recharge the battery on the echo sounder on the Toslin, and I didn't have to replace the AA batteries in the back of the handset. So for, for a running time, um, you know, I reset them rods at least once a day if I wasn't getting by. So it just goes to show that how long that these lithium batteries will last. Um, so maneuvering the boat, you know, when you're picking it in and out the water, the old style batteries would be very heavy, very cumbersome. The actual boat itself would weigh an absolute ton. Well, you don't get that with the X boat. You know, I can, I mean, I'm not a massively strong guy, but I can just pick it up without even standing up with one hand. And that's got two lithium batteries in it. What I tend to do, I tend to leave the one set in the boat all the time because you're charging lead. You can just plug it into the batteries and then plug it into your mains. Um, the batteries click into place so they're absolutely totally secure. Uh, not once have I had any water ingress into the boat, you know, and I've used it in choppy conditions, calm conditions. I load the boat up with copious amounts of bait. You know, I'm easily, you know, at times I'll put four to six kilos of bait in the hopper. Uh, and it doesn't sort of take on water at all because you can, when you, when you take these, I mean, these, the, the, the battery covers, there's two battery covers. This is magnetic. So as you can see, that's quite a trick little way of attaching it. And then the actual, there's another cover underneath that's totally watertight. So obviously once you've can't tighten that down, totally watertight, but you can see right down to the bottom of the hull of the boat when you remove them. The batteries are tucked in here and they click into place so you get no battery movement so it's not gonna touch any wires or the echo sound, nothing inside that. So you can see right down into the boat. No water have I ever seen once in this boat. No condensation, no moisture, so when you're leaving it out in the sun, in the direct sun, or leaving it out overnight when the, the dampness is getting at the boat, on the seam of the boat, nothing goes through the hull at all. Uh, so that is completely watertight. Uh, there is a, a hopper separator 
in the middle of the boat. So the hoppers open independently, so it's left and right on the control. Now you can drop two rigs at once, so you can drop one rig on the left from the left side, one rig from the right, or you can completely take the hopper, the central hopper cover out, which is that, which is what I tend to do because I only tend to drop one rig at a time. Uh, and then obviously the hoppers open independently like so. Uh, the hoppers are hydraulic, which I you know is a very nerdy thing that I like about the boat because I tend to, tend to like to play with them and open them and shut them. You can hear them hydraulically open. It's, uh, you know, I perhaps need to get out more if I think that a hydraulic hopper is something to behold, but I really do like that feature. So there's no manual messing around with the hoppers. So you can't break springs, you can't over push them, you can't take them down. You do it all from the handset. Absolutely fantastic. So we'll talk about the handset now. Uh, the handset has got little individual notches on the control, so the boat isn't erratic. It doesn't sort of fly away with you, even though it's quite a substantial unit as a boat. It's very, very delicate to the touch because you've got these little clicks, obviously. Now, if you don't have the autopilot on your handset or within the boat, you can actually, the boat will come back on itself. You know, you can, you can push the forward, um, the forward lever forward to activate the boat in a forward manner and the boat will carry on coming forward. My, my handset, actually, it's, it will stay in that position. So you can, you can put the rod down, you can set the line and the boat will return back to you. Uh, there's obviously a light, there's light, independent light switches on the boat too. On the rear of the boat, there is also uh, a facility where you can actually hook your rig onto. So you can have your rig out of the back of the boat. So one side will release the hoppers, which is an upward forward motion. And then if you go back, it reverses um, the rig, the rig kind of hook, if you like, it's called a hook. So you basically, you just put your hook into it. You, you release it off the handset, you'll hear it click and that's drop the rig. So if you want to just put your bait into the boat, you can put your rig on the back. I haven't used that, I don't tend to use that. I tend to put the whole lot underneath and into the, into the hopper, then I close, I close the hoppers. So we'll talk about the Echo. Again, it's a GPS unit in itself. So if you don't have the autopilot on your handset, the, the 640 is an independent GPS unit. I haven't used that because I've got the, the Tosslin autopilot on my handset. So I haven't used the Echo Sounder as a GPS, but the facility is there. The instructions are obviously all with the boat, so you can use that facility if you don't choose to have the autopilot. So the Echo itself, it's just a simple, it comes all set up. The only thing I did was change it from meters into feet. Uh, you turn it on and everything is running. Uh, now, obviously it shows weed, it shows water temperature, it shows things like how far from the bank you are. So if you're not using specific horizon markers, you can just keep an eye on it. It'll show you in meters how far from, so you can make a log on your phone, so you can know where your spots are, and you can just use the echo. It's got a compass on it, so you can see the direction the boat is going. And also the echo sounder itself shows the main facilities like weed, depth. It's also got a facility where Obviously, there's different colour lines on the bottom which show the severity of the bottom, whether it's soft or it's hard. So, if it's red, it's hard. If it's blue, it's soft. So, it's almost showing you gravel, silt, weed, which is kind of all that you really need from an echo sounder. Obviously, it works at night. It's, it's, it's an illuminated screen at night. And I've had absolutely no trouble reading it and working it. And again, from a guy that's not very technically gifted. So the last thing we're going to look at is the X-Pilot or the Autopilot, whichever we want to call it, which is the Tosslin unit, which is on top of the handset. Now that is an optional extra. Not everybody wants to purchase that. I've got it on my boat and lots of my friends that have bought boats, they've had it too. So what that does is that is an actual GPS unit for storing, uh, I think you can store up to 500 spots on it, which is more than you're ever going to need. So basically you set your home position and you always set your home position, probably a rod length from the bank. And then obviously you, you'll send your boat out, you'll find your spot. It's one button to go into the menu, scroll down, save spot, and you're done. And you can obviously save up to 500 spots. So it's a two button process, very, very easy to do. Now obviously then you've sent, you've, 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 you've sort of programmed your first spot. So you, your boat's in the water, the boat's going out, it's going to spot one that you've already GPSed. It stops, it beeps continually when it's stopped or when it's approaching the spot, then it'll stop on the spot. I then double check on the echo sounder just to make sure that it is the spot that I want it to be on. I open the hoppers and then you can obviously scroll down, press home and the boat will come on an absolutely parallel straight line to you 
while you're left to reset the rod and put your line, sink your line, set your bobbin, and that's what the facility is ma mainly aimed at. It's perfect for nighttime fishing because once you've GPSed your spots, you haven't even got to look at your horizon markers. You, you, know, you literally go, if your right hand rod's gone and your right hand rod is spot three, then you just click, you scroll down onto spot three, press go, and it's out, and it's dropped and back. It's very, very simple to use. And like I say, as a complete overview, I am not technically gifted in the slightest, but this boat has been an absolute dream to use. It's robust, it's reliable, it's well made, and it does everything that I wanted it to do.